installment of Pine Size Sports. And this week, we're setting a new record. It's the youngest kids we've ever featured on this segment. In fact, the Lakers and Celtics from the Raleigh Youth League are five and six years old. Yeah, this should be interesting. Enjoy. Hello. 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 Not long after they learned to crawl. Not long after they learned to walk. Not long after they learned to tie their shoes, these five and six-year-olds take to the hardwood for an epic battle, where the ball is often bigger than the man dribbling it, where traveling and double dribbles are heavily encouraged. Dripping with drama from the opening tip, it's the Lakers and Celtics. Lakers! The Lakers were short-handed because of a prior engagement which we think was an ice cream party, only five showed up. We're short a couple people, so you're going to have to play the whole game. And when you play as relentlessly as point guard Jaden Keeter does, snatching away rebounds, playing suffocating, tenacious D, delivering precision bounce passes, and consoling fallen teammates, this inevitably happens. Uh, you better not be tired. You gotta, you gotta stay in and play, all right? The good news is that Giddy Gabe Dever never, ever got tired. When he wasn't busy closely examining the basketball, Gabe was the guy in every one of these pictures celebrating. When Malik Danat trained one, Gabe was giddy. When Jahi Bulligan hit a buzzer beater to end the first half, Gabe was giddy. The Lakers would have run away with this one if it weren't for diminutive Dion Daniels. Daniels, who can still show his age on one hand, used that hand to single-handedly bring the Celtics back. Occasionally, he skipped the defensive part and went to visit his mommy in the stands, who helped keep that magic hand fresh. He also used the hand to dupe poor, unsuspecting Austin Poitras into the old gimme five, up high, down low, too slow. With seconds to go, the Lakers coach took a page out of Dean Smith's book, going to the four corners stall. Uh, actually, it was more of a, a one corner stall. Ben Van Welzen held the ball over a sea of hungry hands and slowly backed away. Brilliant. It ate about a minute off the clock. The final buzzer sounded seconds later, and both teams celebrated because it was a tie and there was no overtime. But on this court, it isn't about winning or losing. It's about learning how to dribble, how to play defense with all your might. It's about scoring the first basket of your life. Suddenly, there's a newfound spring in your step. It's about shaking off the frustration and the tears and getting back out there and break dancing. It's Bite Size Sport. We'll see you next week. All right, if you'd like to nominate your team or your kid for Pint Size Sports, here's how you do it. Just send me an email to sports at WNCN.com. The only rule, we go ages 9 and younger. It doesn't have to be a team. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to feature a martial arts expert who's 8 years old. Oh, so, perfect. Yeah. And hard to believe that's how we all started that game. I know. I, know. I don't remember the one-corner offense, but I'd like to go back to that and, and, and pick up ball. We're know, backing yeah. away. Yeah. 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 I love how brilliant. they just stop periodically, have a couple conversations. We'll you go know, visit so the mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so cute. Thanks, man. All right.